you know, I used to hold the stick like this, right, with my hand kind of closed. So the first thing they told me, it's okay, if you want to make this your, your focus, you got to get, get, uh, get, a, get a good sound. And the way to do it is, and, and after experimenting a lot, you know, I think I, I've gotten to this conclusion, that is, you know, when you hold the stick tight, then you're kind of killing the sound, the vibration of the stick and the cymbal. So what I started doing with them is holding the stick in a different way to make the cymbal sound a little better, to make it sing, and to make the stick also vibrate more. And you know, the, the minimum you can do is this, between your thumb and your index finger, right? I mean, you can do less than this. This is the, the least you can do to, to, to hold the stick in place. So what I started doing is just that. Now, if you notice, if you hold the stick like this and you want to bring it back, then your thumb is in the way. So then what I did was hold, hold it this way so that then the stick can come back like this the whole way. And from here, this is your starting point. And maybe you can tell the difference between this. Look at oh, the sound. You hear that the symbol opens up. It's a way smaller sound like this. And the first time I started doing this, it was completely bizarre. I was like, you know, the stick was flying every two seconds, you know. Uh, but it's natural, because if you're not used to this, you know, I, I call this the drummer's muscle, this thing right here. And if you're a drummer and this is really soft, you're probably not practicing enough. Or you're not practicing the right way. Uh, because this is the central focus of, of how you hold the stick. You know? and, and if this is tight, then this automatically develops this little muscle right here. So what I would do is you know, just, just play really basic stuff with just that. And also to a metronome. That's really important too. Everything you do, try to do it to a click. We'll, we'll talk about that a little more later. But, you know, you, 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 I hope you hear the difference and you see the difference between this and... Which, of course, you know, if you're playing a gig, you're not going to play like this. But this is the beginning of how to achieve a better sound here. And check out any jazz drummer on the planet that has been successful and they all have an amazing right symbol sound. They don't necessarily play like that. There's a lot of different techniques. I'm just telling you what works for me and what I believe is the beginning of a really good uh, symbol sound. 